Now, in our previous video, I was teaching certain boys in a dual language. So I have decided to bring out a paper to, to differentiate the, the two letters that actually appears twice in our Edo voice, which is letter O and letter E. The letter O that has um, diacritic, just the way I said in the first video, the letter O that has diacritic is the one you pronounce as O, while the one without diacritic, you pronounce it as O. So, you can see this one here, the one that is letter O without diacritic is as in Usazua, as in Usazua, Usaze, Usaze has diacritic at the bottom of the E, but no diacritic in the O, because you pronounce it as O, Usaze, whereas the letter O that has the critic is the one you pronounce as in or more than a or more, which means there is another diacritic here, and then you say or more than a. So it goes like this, like this, then the main, the main two has a diacritic under. Then you also have uh, names like or more or dion. Or more audium. There's diacritic here, there's diacritic here, there's diacritic here, there's diacritic here because it's pronounced as or more audium. So when you break it into syllables, it goes like this the OMO is one syllable, and then or more audium, and then dium. So these two names are the ones that you need to put diacritic. At the bottom, just from the pronunciation, it's easy for you to know the pronunciation to know the, the ones that come with that critic. If you hear somebody say Osazoa, Osaze, okay, Osazoa and Osaze does not have their critic, but Omor Dame, Omor Odio, Omor Isiagbo, Omor Ogbe, Omor Gate, all those ones they come with their critic because it starts at O. And then you come to the letter E. Letter E is another vowel that comes up twice. That's why I'm starting with these two vowels to teach the vowels before I start teaching our children a dual language, whether online or my own children and all the children who are interested. So now, the letter E again comes up twice in our voice, in a dual voice. The first one does not have diacritic, while the second one has a diacritic. So this one that comes without diacritic, you have to change the E to A during pronunciation. Okay? Because there's no diacritic under the E. You, you change your pronunciation to A. You will not say a rabo. But the rabo again, this has diacritic. A rabo. Meanwhile, it is written as letter E. Okay, you change it to A for you to be able to pronounce it. You can only change the E to A in pronunciation, not in writing. And then what gives you excuse to quickly change the letter E to A, it is when you don't have that critic. That's why I say for you to learn a dual language successfully, you must use that critic from day one. That helps you with the pronunciation. It allows you to know whether the, the letter E is a void that is pronounced as A. We have two letter E in a dual void. The first one is pronounced as A, while the second one is pronounced as A. So the other one that is pronounced as A is the one with diacritic. So you see this E, it has diacritic, and this diacritic now here is what we have here, is what we have here. So let's pronounce this together. You say Erimi. E. Erimi. Okay, you have Edo. And the Edo always put that critic at the bottom. So you'll be able to pronounce it as Edo. If you don't have that critic and you write Edo like this, 
and you make attempt to pronounce it, you're going to pronounce it as Edo, which is wrong. So when you have the critic there is Edo. Same as when you say Oba. So let's go back here. Oba. Oba. Just say, oh, ah, uh, Oba talk way. Once you say Oba, remember to put your diacritic. Otherwise, you're going to say Oba. So that is the problem we have with Canadian kids right now. Because the letter O in English language is what they know. So when they see the word Oba, they can say Oba. So I don't want to go to you yet. The day we are going to talk about you is a whole lecture. Because right now, my nieces and nephews, their teachers call their names as Yuswalele. Even they themselves, they say, oh, I'm Kevin Yuswalele. I'm Kyle Yuswalele. Or they want to call her Davis. They say, I see you swallowly. I don't want you swallowly. Because they only recognize letter U in English language. But I wonder why they always pronounce swallowly as you swallowly. But they don't pronounce usual as usual. So they say usual. Okay, usual. Now when they see Usuanlele, they call it Usuanlele. So we must be able to teach our children that the letter U in Edo Voy is pronounced as U. U as in Usunobu. Usunobu. Usuanlele. Okay, then let's go to vowel I in the dual language. This is U, this is vowel E, this is vowel O. I hope it's not too complicated. Sorry, I was used to teaching in the university environment. It's only here I learned how to teach from kindergarten to grade 12. So now, this is letter I. Letter I is very complicated for children learning a dual language. Can I have a plain sheet, please? Thank you. So, teaching letter I in a do language, in a do voice, it is written as I, but we pronounce I. In Edo language as E. Okay? So you have I as in Igbinosa. Igbinosa. You have I as in a Igodala. Igodala. And then you have I as in Ikbomosa. Ikbomosa. Okay. But when you want to pronounce those names that starts with letter I, always remember to convert the I to letter E. Just the way you pronounced English. English, the word English. Okay, so now when you want to pronounce these words that start with I or names that start with letter I, convert it to E quickly. So that way we'll be able to say Igbinosa, Igodala, and Igbonosa. Meanwhile, it is written as I. So don't also forget. The O in this Igbinosa does not require that critic. Igbinosa. Okay? Igbinosa. You break it into syllables. Igbinosa. So, it did not say Igbinosa. 
If you were hearing it being answer, then you can put that critic there. So this one again, Igwo Dala. You break it into syllables. When you do that, Igwo Dala is of as you have in Usazua and Usaze. Whereas the one in Igbomosa, Igbomosa is very, very confusing. The I again is pronounced as E. Igbomosa, Igbomosa. This should have that critic. And then the Osa does not have that critic. Because also remember that this Osa can go for Osa Zua, can go for Osa Ze. So I think that's all for today. I don't want to make it too complicated. After we have studied the voice and the diacritic, which is the main basics of writing a dual language, once we can get it right and we know how to do all the diacritics, the diacritics, the spelling, the pronunciation, then before we can start writing words, then we can go into meanings, uh, endo names and their meanings. When we step from there, we'll start writing uh, three sentences. We'll leave the voice now and start writing words. And then we'll teach how you can use VB. Edo language is actually one of the languages that accepts two consonants together. Yeah, you see names like Yekekbolo. Names like Yekekbolo. You see names like Ikbosa. You see names like say, Ivagaru. So it comes, with, I mean, Edo language is so complex. The words or the names accept three consonants together. You can have three consonants together. You can also have a vowel at the beginning. You have vowels in the middle. You have vowels at the end. And consonants coming in in the middle. So it's not like most of uh, English words where you have consonants uh, consonants at the beginning of the word the first letter may be consonant and then the, the last two or three letters they all come as voice the language doesn't work like that there are a lot of english words too that comes as a consonant mixed with voice ah that brings my lectures to the end today and uh, hope to see you again thank you very much